glucocorticoids or corticosteroids are amazing anti-inflammatory medications. Dr. Kendall isolated cortisone in the late 1930s, and then Dr. Henge was the first one that used it to treat rheumatoid arthritis in 1948 at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. In 1950s, these doctors won the Nobel Prize. Today, corticosteroids, or as we name it, steroids, are used widely in many medical specialties for their role to reduce inflammation and modulate the immune response if it is exaggerated. In rheumatology, corticosteroids like prednisone or methylprednisolone are frequently used for patients with rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, gout, and vasculitis. Prednisone is our best friend. We give it to patients and patients love us, and they are forever grateful as this medication will reduce the pain and inflammation in a matter of days. We use corticosteroids as pills, IV infusions, and injections. However, if corticosteroids are used inappropriately or for a long period of time, they may cause a lot of side effects. In this lecture, we will discuss the most common 10 side effects that you should be aware if you receive a therapy with steroids. RheumatologistOnCall.com Hi, I'm Dr. Diana Gurnita, the founder of Rheumatologist on Call. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel where I talk about autoimmune diseases, but also lifestyle interventions that will help you thrive with arthritis. So don't forget to subscribe and share the channel with people that are in need. Let's begin. When I prescribe corticosteroids to my patients, I always educate them about the benefits and the risk, but also the role of this medication and the lengths of their therapy. Now let's discuss the most common side effects of steroids. Diabetes. Patients that are on high doses of prednisone or other type of steroid for prolonged periods of time, they can develop what we call insulin resistance, and in time, they can develop diabetes. Patients that already have diabetes and receive steroids, they will notice worsening in their glucose level, and that's why they need to be very careful. Cataracts and glaucoma. Cataracts and glaucoma are problems of the eye. Patients will report visual changes like decreased vision, blurry vision, and sometimes pain in the eyes. Cataracts usually occur in patients on long-term therapy with steroids, even at low doses, like 10 mg per day. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, or thinning of the bones, is a real concern, especially for elderly patients. Due to osteoporosis, even an easy fall can lead to fractures of the bones and many weeks or months of disability, and sometimes chronic pain and even death. There are patients that after a fracture can develop thrombi or clots in their legs that will travel to the lung and that can cause a pulmonary emboli. Osteonecrosis. Osteonecrosis is different from osteoporosis. It's also called a vascular necrosis or aseptic necrosis, and it's the death of the bone cells because of decreased blood flow. It can lead to pain and collapse of the bone. Usually, this happens after years of being on steroids, it doesn't matter if it's high or low doses of steroids. Bruising. Yes, bruising and delay healing of the skin are also common complications of long-term therapy with prednisone. Many of my patients will report that with easy trauma or no obvious reason for trauma, they will see large areas of bruising on their skin. If by accident they cut or injure the skin, the healing process can take weeks. Weight gain. 
corticosteroids will make you hungrier. This is a reality. That is why I encourage all my patients that need this medication to avoid excessive use of carbohydrates like bread, pasta, and eliminate sugar from their diet. Many patients gain weight rapidly on prednisone, and that becomes a real problem. Increased risk of infection. Unfortunately, larger doses of prednisone, more than 20 mg per day, will increase your risk for infections, especially opportunistic infections like tuberculosis or candida, but also staphylococcal infections and virus infections like CMV or herpes zoster. Those are more frequent in patients taking steroids. There are patients that develop shingles on large doses of steroids, as this medication will lower your immune system and the virus will become active. Hypertension. Hypertension or an increase in the blood pressure may happen in patients on corticosteroids, as the corticosteroids will increase your salt and water retention in your body. That will cause an increase in the volume in your arteries, and that will generate an increase in the blood pressure. That is why I tell my patients to reduce the amount of salt that they eat while they are taking prednisone. Mood changes. Steroids can cause agitation, anxiety, difficulties to focus, fear, insomnia, loss of interest, it can also cause pressured speech, agitation, and tearfulness. Some patients may develop severe anxiety or depression and even psychosis. Why? Because steroids affect certain areas of your brain that will manage the regulation of different substances, including serotonin and dopamine, which are the feel-good hormones. So it's not uncommon to be very happy one day and very depressed the next day. Prednisone can also affect your sleep. It may make you agitated and unable to sleep at night time. That is why I tell my patients to take a bigger dose in the morning that will mimic actually the natural release of steroids in our body. Peptic ulcer. Large doses of corticosteroids, especially in combination with other anti-inflammatory medications, for example NSAIDs, that can cause ulcerations in the gut and even gastrointestinal bleed. So pay attention to your stool and if you see any dark stools or any red blood in your stool, you have to contact your doctor immediately to discuss about this side effect. Now, these are the most common side effects, but not all possible side effects of corticosteroids. If you need this type of medication, always discuss the benefits and the risk with your physician that will be able to understand your clinical situation better. This is just an educational video and is not intended to give you medical advice. I hope this video was very helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more. If you have an autoimmune disease and if you need help, you are welcome to check out our practice and get the help that you need when you need it the most. Rheumatologist on call is a telemedicine rheumatology practice that broadens the access to a specialist in a very short time, when you need it the most, and breaks the geographical barriers. Check out the states where we are licensed to see patients in the United States and reach out to us if you need. We are happy to serve you. Don't forget to subscribe and learn more about arthritis and autoimmune diseases. Also, please share the channel 
with people in need, people that will benefit from these educational videos. Thank you for watching. Rheumatologistoncall.com